Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 23 of Daryl20's Let's Play series, uh, where I've decided to change things up a little bit-ish here. Uh, I'm hoping this works. I'm thinking this will work. We'll find out if this works. I think so. Should be easy enough. I want to move this over to here. Does that sound cool? And that means I want to move this over to here. And then on the up, we will do inserting, and then we'll bind you to there, and then he should be good to go. Cool. Uh, now, I'd like to do this and this and bind these two together. And I'm going to keep them red. Red seems like a good, good thing for that. And you're going to extract from here, but I want to extract with a filter for lava buckets, which, yay, turns into a lava texture like it should. Uh, and I'd like you to keep, um, let's see. Control shift should work. So shift does 10 at a time. Control does 100 at a time. Control shift should be working to do both. I don't know if that's a bug on my side or if some other mod is interfering with it. But I want to keep at least eight buckets in this tank at all times. Um, and to do that, we're going to do that, right? So extract with a filter. Remember, when you put a f counting filter on an extract, it means it'll extract all but that amount, okay? When you put in a uh, filter on the insert, it'll insert up to that amount, right? So if I do that, uh, he should start extracting, in theory, assuming that you can actually do that, right? Um, eh, maybe? Insert? Yes? You're cool with that? Uh, are you set to, like, disabled or something? None. Push? Pull, push, pull, disabled, none. Yeah, I don't want that fluid card to get pulled out there. Oh, you know why? Ha 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 ha. I forgot to put you to extract mode. There we go. Now you're cooking. Cool. And you should be extracting uh, a bucket a second. So that should have this thing moving pretty quickly. I'm assuming he'll fill up at some point. And I'm assuming this will stop extracting if we ever hit eight buckets, right? And that's pretty cool. Now, Dyer, why did you do that? You said to yourself, well, I will show you. I want to throw one of these dudes up here. Uh, the Emmy storage bus will allow me to interact with fluids as well as items. So if I run this cable all the way over to here and look in our A system, suddenly we have lava. Ha <laughs> ha, how cool is that? That's cool, right? I think it's cool. I wonder what kind of buffer you've got going on because I feel like you're filling up with a lot of lava here. Maybe not. Yeah, no, he doesn't have a buffer. You'll notice he's accepting a bucket every... Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, he's cool. He's, he's behaving. I was worried he was like just going crazy with the lava usage, but no, he's good. Uh, so yeah, he's 100%. So that's faster, right? Before, it was taking a while to get the obsidian going. Now it's not, so that's cool. Uh, I think I just saw a piece of flint get created, by the way. Is flint? It is. There's flint up there. We should do a void upgrade. How are we for obsidian at this point? Probably good, right? I would think so. Yeah, no, definitely good. Sweet. All right, void upgrade, good for flint. Cool. So yeah, now we have access to lava, right? And the cool thing about that is I should be able to shift click it or something. I don't know. Oop. Yep. If there's buckets in the A system, when you shift click your, your thing, you should be cool. Um, left click to store lava bucket, right click to store lava. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. So yeah, if you want to store that, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, and then right click to store. Oh, I love it. So that. Also notice stopping at eight. Right? So he's no longer, he's going to make sure there's always eight buckets of lava for Dyer to do whatever Dyer wants to do with it. And then as more lava gets created by that ranged pump, it will be available uh, for the stuff. Isn't that spiffy? I think it's spiffy. Yeah, you know. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Neat little laser IO setup there. Uh, could we move this over one? Yes. Absolutely could. Meh. I like lasers. I like seeing lasers. I'm down with that, right? So he will eventually, probably the the ranged pump is uh, like, it, it scans like slowly-ish. And then it once it finds lava, it starts sucking it up. So it's probably in the middle of scanning an area that doesn't have any lava in it. And that means it's going to be, um, you know, waiting until it gets to some lava. But hey, we've got what I would call a decent cobble works. Except for a cobble. I wonder how many people, because obviously I record these videos in advance. I wonder how many people last episode said, Dai, you made a cobble works without making any cobble, which in fairness is a very, very fair assessment, right? Um, so let's get ourselves another another drawer here. 
another void because we want to be voiding cobblestone as well. Uh, when you get to the point where you're automating stuff, uh, do yourself a favor and make sure that you're void upgrading anything that you're automating. I've probably missed some. Life goes on. Uh, you know, it's it's definitely possible that I, I forgot to void some things that we're making a lot of. Um, so yeah, we want to we wanna be aware of that. Now you, by the way, aren't making any more of these things and I probably want these ender pearls all to be available to me. Uh, and so I should probably void upgrade you and I should probably void upgrade you because at some point in the future we will be making lots and lots of ender pearls. Uh, for the time being, I was thinking about doing a uh, ender chest here, but I've I've since re redecided. I wanna I wanna change up how things work inside that room, but at least I got enough ender pearls now to hold me over, right? So we won't worry too much about that room until we're ready to do more with ender pearls. Deal? Okay. Uh, for now, I'm working on cobble works. So I figured, why not look at Zycraft machines uh, for a fun and interesting way to go about things. So here's all the Zycraft machines blocks. Uh, there's a Zycraft machine base block of resin. Uh, this is a water block. That's cool. Uh, accelerated planter. I kind of remember that thing working and being a thing. Uh, ignition plate, fire on demand. That could be cool. That could be fun. Especially for uh, Ender IO, because don't we have to light bedrock on fire? I feel like we do. Uh, fluid void stops fluids from flowed, flowing into adjacent blocks. Light field prevents spawns in a cubed volume. Okay, that's neat. The extractor is specifically what I'm interested in, I think. Extracts items and fluids out of the environment. That's the one I'm pretty sure. Void container. Black hole contained within can be used to void items. Fabricator crafts items automatically. Soren box. It's not random if you put it in there. <laughs> now, have I found any Zycorium? I found some blue, so that's cool. That's cool. Um, where, pray tell, might... No, that's crying obsidian and stuff. Um, where, pray tell, might Zycorium or be? Uh, we might want to pop into the mining dimension and see if we can find some there. That could be a cool plan. But it looks like it tends to be. Are these different than these? I wouldn't expect them to be. Well, they kind of are. Interesting. Oh, boy. Just, it's just all over the place, ain't it? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit all over the place. Maybe we'll pop into the mining dimension uh, and see what happens. Right? Uh, mining portal, nether mining portal, and mining portal. Okay. Uh, so that's what we're going to want. Mining dimension. We could go mining in there and see what we can find. Probably. I don't know if there's like a specific place it makes sense to put this. Um, so I'll just place it next to you. Now is this a shift to go in kind of deal? Or a right click to go in? Or a shift right click? Oh, there we go. You want to wait a second because, uh, like, the first time you click it, it has to generate the whole dimension. So, yeah, it's just a right click, and then you're cool. Okay. Um, that sounds good times. Now, there is something else I want to do. Uh, I'm going to come back. All right. So, I went mining for a little bit here. Yeah, do the thing. And I also upgraded my mining gadget with two upgrades. One, I added the freezing upgrade, which is a fun one. It will freeze any uh, adjacent lava. So if you mine a block and there's lava next to it, it will turn that lava into obsidian, which is super cool, right? Because it means lava no longer flows into your path while you're mining, especially in the nether. Uh, so super fun. Now, in addition to that, it'll also freeze water into ice. Uh, I think blue ice, which is probably okay. See that obsidian there? That was going to be lava that was going to spill into my way. Um, it will it will do the same thing as placing water next to it. So it turns it into uh, obsidian or or cobblestone, depending on you know what it what it would normally be. Cool. Uh, and I've been mining down here at Y level 15 ish, right? Uh, and you can see there's a lot of mining caves that I've been doing. Uh, I also upgraded my my laser to hold uh, the battery tier three, which is 10 million RF. We're almost out. Oh, there's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I've been mining for ancient debris, trying to get some of that because uh, I finally 
accepted a pull request uh, from a user named Anonymous. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, buddy. Uh, who, who added some code to mining gadgets to allow for 5x5 five five and 7x7 seven seven upgrades. So now there is a 5x5 five five upgrade that needs a healthy amount of netherite, and then a 7x7 seven seven that needs a healthy amount of nether stars. Uh, but that'll let you have some really OP mining gadgets that I think will be pretty cool. So since we're going to go mining in the mining dimension by hand a little bit, I figured, hey, why don't I go get some upgrades ready and then we can try that out, right? So there we go, you can see uh, I'm spraying spraying some cold, you know, freezing up that obsidian. So any adjacent lava turns into obsidian. Pretty cool. So yeah, this has been me for the last half hour. I had to take a phone call, so I was just mining absentmindedly while on the phone. <laughs> all right, so uh, Gadget's actually almost out of power here, I assume. We're Quite low. Yeah, I'll finish up the last little bits. Let's put away some quartz. Hey, you know what? I'll say with this much. Uh, I needed more quartz anyway. I was getting kind of low. So, killing two birds with one stone here. And if I happen to scoop up a little bit more ancient debris, I'd be quite happy about it. If I don't, life goes on. Just looking for the last little bit. How are we doing battery wise? We're getting there. Oh, there's ancient debris. I'll take you. Out of power. All right, home we go. Any junk? Nope, we're cool. And you'll notice that I upgraded my uh, charged quarter to the advanced charged quarter. Okay, now hopefully you guys aren't struggling too much. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Cool. All right, ancient debris, please. I got 40 of them. A healthy amount of mining between episodes. Uh, I'm going to recharge you, and I'm going to sag mill... Because uh, I assume sag mill is the way to go here. Yes, 75% uh, modified by grinding ball. Now, energetic alloy grinding ball is 160 and 110. What would a vibrant be? 175 and 135. I should do that, right? 175 and 135. Is there anything better? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. So if I wanted 20 of these... That should not be a big deal, right? Definitely not a big deal. And then we could get vibrant alloy grinding balls. And that ain't too shabby, right? So let's swap those two out. Uh, I would probably like to, let's do this. Give me you. I want to burn through whatever is remaining of that. Now we start the new one, right? And look at that, we're already at 2048. That's nice, isn't that cool? I like that. And look, sand, all the sand. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, now let's sag mill this. And hopefully with a little luck, we'll get some extra netherite scrap. That is really doing a nice job, I gotta say. That is not bad at all. I'll take it. Look at all that. Look at all the netherite scrap, I love it. Uh, while we're here, we should probably be push-pulling to the back so that you can, A, dump all that stuff into the A system, but also, B, uh, when we ask AE to craft something with a sag mill, it'll work. Yeah, I think that would be a smart play on our part. Yeah, definitely cool. Nice. All right, ancient debris, not terrible. So now if I want my 5x5 five five upgrade, uh, we're going to need some netherite ingots. So is there, like, a cheaper by chance recipe for you? I'm going to assume that, but you never know. So always check, always check. There might be a mod that said, hey, I'm going to make, no, there isn't. Okay, so that, okay. And then you're going to be, oh, that's right, I have to do you at the smithing table, don't I? Um, yeah, 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 smithing table. That would, do I have a smithing table already? Kind of thought I did, but I guess not. I guess there's really no, hasn't been a need for one yet. Okay. Uh, so give me a new one of these, and it's this and this, right? Am I crazy, or is that not is that not how that works? Is that not how that works? Smithing template, netherite upgrade. What are you?
when is that a thing? Interesting. Smithing template netherite upgrade? That's not a thing, is it? That's not a that's not a thing. Shenanigans? Let me look into this. What's up with this? Today I learned this is a new vanilla thing. Does this not look like a modded texture to anyone else? Like, I looked at this and this screams modded to me. Like, look at that texture. There is zero chance that's a vanilla Minecraft texture. Nope, that's vanilla now. Okay. Uh, and the only way to place to find this is in Bastions? That stinks. That's super annoying. I hate that. I hate everything about that. Why would you do that to me, Minecraft? Why? What did I do to you? What indeed? Charge this bad boy up real quick. Well, I guess, I mean, obviously you can you can make duplicates of them, which also feels like a modded mechanic to me. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Doesn't that feel like a modded mechanic? Oh, I have one, now I can make more. Like, very modded feeling. But okay, we're going back to uh, the nether and we're learning vanilla today. That's what we're doing. We're learning how Minecraft vanilla works, because that's banana. So I'm gonna assume that that's where I'm gonna find some of these things that I want. Should I be wearing gold? Probably. Probably. So these dudes don't hate me, but whatevs. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to like semi cheese this. Do you guys hate me or no? Oh yeah, no, you do. You do. Oh boy, you really hate me. You super duper hate me. Time for some amazing food. Nom, 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 nom. Yep, you guys are not a fan of the dyer. All right, where's this? This is the thing I need, right? Uh, enter a bastion remnant. Hopefully that's where I can get these things that way. So I've actually visited all the nether biomes, so that's kind of cool. Sorry, big ones. I got no time for y'alls. Where, pray tell, might you be keeping chests? Shouldn't there be chests? I was told there'd be chests. With, like, stuff in them. Bastion Remnant. Is this not where you get one of these? Bastion Treasure, Bastion Other, Bastion Bridge, Bastion Hog Stable. Okay, maybe not? Maybe yes, maybe not? I don't know. I'm looking for what would be an entrance of some form. What I'm seeing is kind of like a little bit of a mess. That mm -hmm. fairness is mostly of my own making at this point. Maybe I try looking at a different one. I'll come back once I find something. I know there's another one over here, so let's head do that way. Don't run out of mana flying over lava pools. Unless you're immune to all fire damage like I am. And then in that case it's fine. looks like something right oh hello take a bunch of gold thank you remember how hold, hard gold was for me to find in this pack so far yeah i should probably be uh, avoiding these guys i would think the rest i'll hold on to but for now at least that's fine so do we have like chests in here yeah i know i know you're very upset at my existence people brute I can do things like stun you. Boom! Everybody's upset now. I see that. Oh, I see chests. You better have one of them for. Not a 
exactly what I was looking for. Alright, let's uh come back if I find something else cool. Yeah. Is that a bastion, maybe, over there? I mean, there's cracked polished it. Let's see if I'm right about this. That might be a bastion. Feels like one, right? Yeah, I'll put that marker thing there. Okay. Have fun, kids. See you later. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. The other one was a remnant. I don't know if this is also a remnant, but this one, this is the structure that in my brain I was imagining. You know, Dyer's not a master of vanilla by any stretch, but he knows a few things. I mean, very, very few things, but... I feel like I saw a chest in there, didn't I? Or was that just glowstone? No, there's a chest in there. Boy, these guys hurt. Found one. Got it. That's what I was after. Sweet. I should probably just get out of here. And I shall. Woo! That was a thing. Wasn't that a thing? I feel like that was a thing. Woo, that was close. I really did not want to have to corpse run that. Right? That would have been awful. I did not want any part of corpse running that. So now you upgrade like this? Alright, so I'll get a few of these. Now... I can take you and get my diamond pickaxe that I made and my netherite. Okay. And now we can do that. And now we can do that. I just need my 5x5 five five upgrade to come out of my laser. Yoinks. And do that to that. Okay. And now we have a sweet. We can do 5x5 five five mining. Awesome. Um, quick notes. Uh, I I like this mode, but automatic is also good. So this is like one down, three up from what you're looking at. This is two down, two up from what you're looking at. And this is one down, three up if you're looking straight ahead and two and two in any other direction. Cool. So I'll go with automatic for now because that's a cool one. Uh, make sure you have lots of power because with great... Mining comes great power usage, said Uncle Ben. So this episode, a little different than I planned for it to be. That's okay. That's how it goes sometimes. Let's try this out now. Ooh, five by five mining. Don't mind if I do. That ain't too shabby, right? All right. So now we came here wanting Zykorian, right? Um, hopefully we will find some in this here mining dimension. Uh, so let's start with this um so if i want if i wanted what did i want i don't even know anymore i lost track what was i making this uh that's just gonna need kippy bricks okay that's cool um let's put on a list of of, of zycraft machines i'd like to play with and check out okay um so for that we're gonna need uh machine base just need some aluminum which hopefully we've found blocks of resin are a thing that i don't know if i need or not but i want to try like a lot of these accelerated planter ignition plate sounds cool uh extractor i had on my list already void items light field fluid void stops fluids from flowing into adjacent blocks i remember that one being kind of cool too uh fabricator i think is kind of neat and the soren box i don't know exactly what the deal is with that but we'll find out valves and item io are pretty cool uh this allows you to make tanks out of like literally anything hydro bump automatically pumps water into connected tank can be extracted from at a higher rate neat collector okay i want to try that out creates an unlimited amount of items i assume that's creative mode only uh energy selector okay it's cool beans i like it i like looking good so far uh so yeah i'm assuming we want like all the colors right so in the overworld mining dimension like right around 15 ish 14, 15, that's a good place to be. 
Uh, and then the same here, 15 seems pretty decent. And it's all sense to group around 15. That seems we're about where we want to be. So if I head down to 15 in the overall mining dimension, I think we just found some red, which is cool. And then we mined, I'm gonna go down one level, right? Because if, if 15 is where it's common, I'm gonna start mining at 14 and then we'll be up from there. Cool, okay. That's some blue Zycorium, I believe. Hey, yeah, look, we found some blue Zycorium, sweet. That might be something up there, I don't even know. All right, so what do we find so far as Zycorium wise? Blue and red? Okay, now I might start voiding copper, but we'll see. <laughs> So yeah, see, this is this is this is this mode, um, two pathways, right? If I put it in normal mode, it's gonna. I don't want that. I like, I like pathways. But if you put an automatic, when you're looking straight ahead, it'll be that. But then if you're looking straight up or straight down, it's gonna be like you know the other way. So that's cool, right? All right. So that is coal. I don't think I need that at the moment. I just want. Zycoria more and aluminum possibly and I'll grab gold because I remember that being rare but yay for mining dimension right nickel coal now if I could get so lucky yeah look how much copper I'm getting holy cow that's a lot of copper think I'm gonna add copper to my voiding there's some green got some green Zycorium. that might be black Yep, that's some black Zycorium. And I'll grab iron because I always need more iron. I like this 5x5 five five mining. I, you know, I'd like even more. Some 7x7 seven seven mining. There's some red. Got more red. Uh, but that's going to need nether stars. So if you want to do 7x7, seven seven, that's light. That's light Zycorium. Sweet, that's a lot of it. I think that's a majority of it even. That's a nice job though, right? So OP, I love it. Not for nothing, but it's pretty OP. 7x7 seven seven is even more OP. Green. I can't wait to have notes for Soren. Soren loves having notes on, on mods. He's gonna be like, ah. So I'm gonna add notes for him. We'll see. I don't know if I will for real. But I will definitely have fun playing with it. Alright, to home we go. Hooray! I like mining dimension. Mining dimension good. Okay, all this junk go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Sweet. Okay. Uh, and then if we wanted to process our iron ore, we probably wow, we have a uh, hundred and seventy-seven of it. <laughs> Pretty good. So if I wanted to, I could still do this, and you'll just pull in and push to the back. Cool. And then uh, once I have all that ore, um, or the dust at least, I can just manually pop it in there, and it'll smelt its way up. That works for now. Uh, and we'll do some kind of automated ore processing. Don't worry. That's like a staple. That's like one of the first things I ever did was automated ore processing. Uh, and that will very much be coming back for sure. Cool. Um, but yeah. Let's uh, let's see what we can make now. We'll be back in a sec. All right, so the extractor. Uh, so we're gonna need some pistons. Oh boy, you need you need a dripstone, a pointed dripstone. Oh boy. Oh boy, you actually need me to get one of those and kivy. I don't have any kivy. I guess not. Uh, where would one? Did I? Is kivy in here? Kivy might be in here. Oh, it is. Good. I do have kivy. Nice. Okay, cool. And then I need a fluid or item port, it looks like. Um, and that's how we get an extractor. If I can get some dripstone. Where am I going to find dripstone? That's a question. Big drip leaf can make dripstone blocks for me. Okay. Uh, is there a way to get big drip leaves? I don't know. I'm not familiar with that one. What's a big drip leaf? Oh. Uh, villagers, the mason can apparently. Point of interest is a stone cutter. So if I got a mason, I could trade for dripstone blocks. Let's go see if we can make that happen. Does that sound cool? Uh, emeralds. 
and a stone cutter. And if this doesn't work, what I'll have to do is go mining between episodes and look for a dripstone cave of some kind. Yeah, sleeping through the night. I really do need better armor. Uh, I should enchant, either enchant what I have or switch it over to like the, the irony one. So somebody tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe all I gotta do is come over here and find the mason. Are you a, you're a weaponsmith, right? Okay. Uh, is there a mason by chance? Hey you, Psst. over here you. Thank you, Mason. Nope. Now does it say particularly? It does say level three. Does that mean he needs to be a level three, like upgraded dude? He may. He may. Huh. That might be what that means. Let me check. So here's a question. Could I use a nature's compass to find a dripstone biome? Dripstone caves. Start search. Oh, we found one. Ah, that, that'll that work. I'll take that as a way. So 1,700-ish blocks in this direction. I'll be right back. That, that is a clever solution, right? I love that. I love that mod. I love that I can search for biomes because yes. Yeah, 1400 blocks in a second. It's going to be a minute, so I'll, uh, you know, come on back. What in the, what is that structure? Well, that's cool. It's like one of those mushroom houses, but like, warped. Oh, Piglin Brute Spawner. Not, not, not who I wanted to see. Okay, we're out of here. Cool though, right? Yeah, pretty cool. Is there anything else of interest for chance? Right, I got you. Yeah, we might come back and explore this. I'm here, I can't get distracted. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. Uh, 441. 1999, negative 275. So we're close. So this should be about it. So now if I went straight down here, I would expect to find a dripstone cave, yes? In theory. Hey, is that what that is? Nope, that's granite. I don't see a dripstone cave, do you? Is this a dripstone cave? <gasps> this is a dripstone cave. Okay, cool. Does dripstone need silk touch? I don't actually know. Nope, pointed dripstone. Sweet. I'm not, I'm not a vanilla guy. You guys, this is known. This is known. Okay. Should I add a bookmark here? Uh, dripstone, just in case we need it again in the future. All right. Uh, and now I should be able to make this dude. Sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, I say we wrap up here. Uh, it's getting to be that point. This episode did not exactly turn out the way I planned it to. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but... We got the extractor and we got access to the mining dimension and we got access to a five by five mining gadget and we got a whole bunch of another right that we can use for other upgrades in the future so not a bad episode i got a whole bunch done it's just not what i planned to do when i sat down which is sometimes how minecraft goes and that's what makes minecraft fun all right for now doll 20 sign off hope you enjoyed the episode take it easy